Hey, what's up guys? Derek with Drizz Auto. Today we're working on a GR86. Previously, what we've done is a couple of updates to it. We did a cold air, we did a short shifter, and today we're getting ready to put on an awesome carbon fiber steering wheel. Uh, this steering wheel is really nice, but it's just skinny. Uh, you feel like you're grabbing, like you're grabbing almost nothing. In terms of holding it, for you maybe? For me, maybe, yeah. Because of those big... But, uh, hands are not that big, but you know. <laughs> but we're installing this bad boy right here. Um, carbon fiber it's got the nice the white leather in there yeah um i can't i can't work on this after this greasy hands it's gonna get dirty that's right uh, but this thing feels awesome it's got nice it bulky right yeah. here uh yeah it grips on both sides so it, it if you feel really really nice and it's carbon fiber huh I yeah. mean, I, I really like the white part that's like leather, right? It's like a leather yeah. finish on it. Yeah, it seems to be like it a leather really finish. It's really good. It grips really good. Yep. Maybe I need one of those on my tube there. Uh, we'll see. So, um, for those of you who are going to be doing this by yourselves, on this, this is actually really good uh, because these are the clips that holds the airbags in. And what you'll have to do when it's installed and the airbags there, literally have to push these clips away in order to get the airbags out. So a uh, very good visual here in terms of looking at the points of where they are. So you're, you'll use a screwdriver and push them in, push them in, and then it releases. And the bottom one you push up and it releases the airbag assembly because it has the locking mechanism that's in here. So um, cool thing, it's out and you can see it. So you, you know what to look for in the back, back, back here because it's kind of dark. And if you, don't, if you haven't done it before, you gotta be careful. Oh, also take note, take the air, uh, battery off, leave the battery disconnected for about five minutes before you do this. Not what happens there? Tell us. You have you, you run the risk of uh, deploying the airbag, which will hurt you, especially if you have it on um, clipped out. This will put some serious hurting on you. So please be careful, cautious. All right, so we're getting ready to pop the clips off of this airbag. Um, some of it's a little bit of a feel. I uh, try to use the screwdriver um, to pop them out and you'll see that, that first one pop out there and then we'll go to it on this side it's a little bit harder to see um, but you'll get it and then this is the bottom side of it that'll pop out and there we are. there we go You also still have to be cautious with these connectors. Um, they're a little fragile, so caution is a key. These uh, needs to get that little clip popped up before you pull them out. It's a locking clip for them. And there it is, airbag out. All right, now that Derek have the um, airbag off, all we need to do now is remove this connector, which pretty much control all of your steering functions. And then we move on to the next step of... Uh, taking out, de-dressing the steering wheel and installing it ba back onto the new steering wheel. And then we're going to do the reverse order and in installing it. Now we have the steering wheel off, we're going to go ahead and remove all the Phillips screws, take the backing off, the switches off, and we're going to swap them over to the new steering wheel, uh, replace the switches and the backing cover. Make sure to get everything pretty tight and um, secure so you don't have any rattles or anything like that on there.
All right, so now that we have our steering wheel all dressed and all of buttons and everything, clips and plastics together, we're going to get ready to install reinstall this. Careful uh, with the airbag uh, clock spring assembly, not to rotate them back and forth. And the wiring, the wiring is going to go right through here and reinstall back on the airbags. The other tip is that when we took the steering wheel off, we make sure that we centered it straight. Uh, you have to put it back that way or you're going to have a steering wheel that's crooked, one notch, two notch, or whatever it is on. So always try to mark it and reinstall it the same way so you have no crooked steering wheel. Awesome. As you can see, there's some caution in terms of getting feeding that wires through and setting the steering wheel back to center point or 12 o'clock um, it definitely does take some practice and you can't on that center bolt definitely don't tighten it up too much there is a spec for it Guys, our steering wheel is in and it's looking awesome. I love the way like everything looks and feels there. Feels good. Feels great. Great. Now yes. uh, those big hands fit a oh, lot better. More so much better. better. Grip. Yeah. Uh, all right. Last step would be to install those pieces in the back. Um, don't forget to do that. You have one on both sides. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some informational content out of this video. You guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend, and let us know if you have any questions, as always. We'll catch you on the next one.